Are you going boating soon and did you check for problems first? Well, that is today's topic. Hey boating enthusiasts, this is Andrew with BoatAlert.com. Today, we will talk about the top 8 problems to check before going boating. To skip ahead, use the chapters in the description below, but stick around till the end as I will give the URL to get a printable boating checklist. If you are not already subscribed, you may want to consider it. We have some great boating topics coming up. Let's dive right in. Every year, the Coast Guard receives countless calls from boaters caught in the water at night who are unable to reach the coast. Boaters say they have seen red lights and hope the Coast Guard can pinpoint their location. Marine radio signals can transmit for many miles, and there might be hundreds of flashing red lights in an area, but this kind of information is not helpful in locating a boat. Check for these boat problems before a boat trip. 1. Update the your maps and familiarize yourself with the local boat rules and zones. Did you check the weather forecast? 2. Get to know the moving parts of your sailboat. A sailboat is a machine that is constantly in motion so take care of all moving parts of your boat. This includes large things such as spars and booms that swing when turning and are not fastened with screws. Clean the deck. Look as closely as possible at the hull and deck joints. Check for corrosion and cracks. 3. Boat engine trouble. Drain plug. Installing the drain plug is one of the most basic procedures when boating. 4. The anchor. The only thing more frustrating than a boat that doesn't go anywhere is one that doesn't stop. 5. Don't get caught with a dead battery when you fire up the engine. Check all of your batteries with an onboard or portable meter. 6. These days gasoline is mixed with ethanol to increase the octane and have a cleaner fuel, but ethanol loves water. So much so, in fact, that it will absorb it to the point of saturation before separating your fuel into a watery mess. Use low-octane gasoline or add a good quality fuel stabilizer. 7 and 8. Inspect the life jackets and sound-producing devices. Okay, leave a comment below if you have other tips for all of us. You can learn more in the blog article that accompanies this video. If you now understand this topic well, please give us a thumbs up. Alright, that's all we have for you today, and as always I hope to see you next time. Thanks for listening.